So hi, good morning. Welcome to this another series lecture about electrotechnology. So today, ang pag-uusapan natin is how are we going to isolate a problematic motor. Okay, for example, in this particular circuit here, may problema tayo dyan. How are we going to start troubleshooting our motor? Okay, so let's get started. This demo lets you attempt a fault on one of the motor labs from troubleshooting motor circuits. But first, you should know a bit about the circuit and the troubleshooting tools. The circuit used in this lab is a basic motor circuit with an off-on switch to control the operation of the motor. To start the motor, click on the control switch. The speed of the motor is shown on the RPM gauge. To adjust the motor load, click on the percentage of load you wish to apply to the motor. If you apply too much load, the motor will stall and the overload will trip. Before resetting the overload, turn off the control switch and adjust the load selector switch to 100%. You can now reset the overload by clicking on the red indicator. A multimeter is available by clicking the meter button. To measure the control voltage, select the voltage scale and then drag the meter probes to terminal 1 and terminal 2. Note the meter reading. Voltage readings taken between terminals 4, 5 and 6 show the phase to phase supply voltage. The multimeter also allows you to measure the current in the circuit. To measure the motor current, first start the motor. Then, select the amp scale and drag the current probe to one of the highlighted areas. Note the ammeter reading when the motor is running at full load. Before you can take resistance readings with an ohmmeter, you must lock out the circuit. Click the breaker panel button, open the breaker, apply the lockout, and then verify the circuit is dead. To measure the line-to-line -line resistance of the motor, disconnect the wire at terminal 9 with the screwdriver. Select the ohm scale on the multimeter and then drag one probe to terminal 8 and the other probe to the disconnected wire. The meter now reads the line-to-line -line resistance of this motor. Fuses can be removed or replaced. With the wrench tool, just click on the fuse. You will have the option of removing it or replacing it with a new one. Other components can also be replaced. Just click on them with the wrench tool and select the appropriate option. Note that the help button is always available with information on using the tool. When you are finished with the fault, click I'm done to see if you are successful or to get a hint if you are not. Okay, so let's continue on. So let's click the start fault. Okay, and then the difference between the North American and then the European, basically we will just be troubleshooting a same circuit, same system, but yung diagram natin will be different. So let's try the North American standard. Okay, so now let's review the schematic diagram. So as what we can see here, we have the control circuit and we have the power circuit. Okay, so most of this discussion, we will we will have a thorough discussion on the motor control circuit pagdating natin sa electrotechnology number three. So ngayon, eto muna yung pag-uusapan natin. Okay, so based dun sa introductory video kanina, if we click this switch one here to on, it's supposedly yung motor natin aandar. Okay, click natin ng on. Okay, however, as what we can see, although yung contactor natin nag-activate, yung motor natin hindi gumagana. So, it means, yung application natin dito, there is some problem with our system here. Okay, so, yung goal natin dito is we want to isolate this motor here ready for troubleshooting. So, how are we going to do that? So, the first thing is we have to go to the breaker or yung switchboard natin. You go to the breaker panel, okay, and then, although... Dito sa activity natin dito, isa lang, but yung switchboard natin or mga breaker panel natin sa parko, marami yan. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin is we have to off yung corresponding switchboard natin, a breaker natin, off natin yan, and then we have to put a lockout, tagout, or loto. Okay? Tagyan natin yan. Anong purpose nito, guys? Okay? So, take note, yung importante nito, 
Ah, uh, okay, yung breaker natin, yung breaker panel natin, normally at saka yung uh, yung area kung saan andun yung motor natin, malayo 'yan. Hindi 'yan visible in an area, in any same area. Okay? So, ang mangyayari nito, pag hindi mo nilagyan na yun ng lock at tug out yung breaker nito, what will happen kung ikaw busy ka doon nagto-troubleshoot ka? Okay? And then someone will turn on that particular breaker. Okay, ang mangyayari niyan, makukuryente ka, problemado 'yan. And then hindi safety yung hindi na safe yung ginagawa mo. So, the best way that you can do here, the safest way that you can do here is before you start troubleshooting anything in that particular uh, in that particular system, you have to switch off the breaker and then lagyan mo ngayon, ilock mo ngayon, and then lagyan mo ng label, tag out mo ngayon, na there is some uh, maintenance uh, we are currently doing some maintenance here. Okay? So, danger do not operate. Okay, so that's the safest way. And then after mo ngayon na na-lock out, tag out na yan, you really have, pagdating mo dun sa, sa area kung saan ka mag-troubleshoot, you really have to verify na yung uh, circuit is dead. So in this particular case here, yung pag-verify natin, click lang natin ng verify dead and then okay na. Okay, the result of this test verifies that the circuit is now dead. Normally, pag nasa barko ka ngayon or any other industrial plant, hindi naman ganyan to. Wala namang push button doon and then verify that the circuit is dead. So, how do you, we usually do it? Okay, so we usually use yung tinatawag nating multimeter. Okay, so we have to measure kung meron pa bang voltage dito nagsusupply. So, in this particular case here, yung nagsusupply dito is this one here. Okay, this one is the RST. So, punta ka sa circuit break, uh, sa multimeter, you go to the voltage and then let's try to measure kung meron pa bang voltage dyan. Okay, Normally, since this is AC, around 200 volts, 220 volts AC. Okay? Wala. And then, wala. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yan, we can now confirm that the circuit is dead. Okay? So, that is how we uh, isolate the motor in this particular case here, this motor circuit here. So, now, let's try to... Uh, Let's try to uh, troubleshoot this one. Since I already solved this one here, the problem is the contactor. But in our uh, lecture in electrotechnology, we were going to find saan ba dito yung problema? Bakit yung contactor yung problema, hindi yung fuse? Okay? So, but in this particular case here, i-replace lang natin yung contactor. Okay? Replace. Okay? And then after na na-troubleshoot mo na yung circuit natin, magta-try ka na ngayon. So, you have to remove the lock. Okay, on mo ulit, but verify mo, wala nang, wala nang mga screws na naiwan, nakakonect na lahat ng wires, and then switch on mo yan, and then let's try to switch on the switch. Okay, so as what we can see, gumagana na yung motor natin. Okay, so that is how uh, you properly isolate the motor. Okay, first, uh, verify na may problema yung system natin and then you go to the circuit breaker kung saan mo saan particular yung nakalagay yung circuit breaker natin i-off mo lock out tag out low to lock out tag out and then you have to verify that the circuit is dead before you start working in that particular system okay so if you have some questions or clarifications please comment down below and i will try to answer your questions as soon as i can so good luck and see you